What's up, guys? It's the Iron Skillet. We're back with another podcast, and this week we're going to talk about some dope stuff that you can do being stuck in quarantine. Mm-hmm. And one of the first things we want to talk about is that stimulus check, because I'm going to tell you personally, <laughs> money I, w- bags. I went to bed one night, and I woke up the next morning with a lot of money in my account that wasn't there the night before. I was salty because... Uh I went to Benny's and Logan was like, yo, I got my stimulus check. And I'm like, I didn't get mine, yo. <laughs> and then I went to sleep oh, no, and woke up my... in my account. It was in there, yeah. Y'all See, all got y'all stimulus checks? Yeah, yeah. bro. We... I ain't got mine. Okay. It's did... called direct deposit. Okay. I know. It's I know. called direct deposit, bro. Well, you, you're getting yours in the mail, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not tripping. I'm you know why? You know why ass. you haven't got yours yet? Because <laughs> Trump <laughs> wants to sign all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good on Personally. Selling. Hopefully I can sell it on eBay for more than $1,200. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good so, point. Right? It ain't going to happen. Everybody mm-hmm. in America is getting one of them. Done. This is the, right, the right. flipper over here. <laughs> all right. Nah, but we uh No, you're good. But we wanted to talk about um just different ways that... You could use that stimulus check, and obviously, if you're in a situation where you're furloughed or you're not making money right now, that check hopefully is coming through in a time to be able to help you just be able to like buy essential items and things that you need for your life. Um, so, shout out to everybody that's in that situation. We're thinking about you guys, and we hope that that really helps. But if you're lucky enough to be in a situation where you're still working and then you also got this $1,200 stimulus check, I think it's important to talk about. How you could be smart with that check. Not everybody's going to be smart with it. No. We all know that some some of our friends and family are just going to go out and buy stuff with it, and that's fine. Um, but we were going to sit here to and... teach their own. Yeah, to each their own. But uh, we want to talk a little bit about some ways that you could, like, think about using it properly. And I know, like, for me personally, um, the first thing I did before I thought about what I could use it for was I put it in my savings account. Like, I just slid it in my savings account and pretended, like, it wasn't even there. And then I like had I literally sat down and thought about like okay like what could I really capitalize off of and like what do I need and then I'll move the amount that I need back into my account and leave the rest of it in my savings. Good money management. That's the way I did it because if it would have stayed in my checking, I would just be balling out, <laughs> <laughs> buying whatever. Um, but the mall's closed. Yeah. So you can't. So you can You can only, you can ball, only do it on Amazon. Can only who goes, who so goes to the mall? Sometimes we go to well, the mall. I virtually go to the mall in the comfort of my living room. Exactly. On Amazon. Oh, on Amazon. I feel yeah. it. Amazon shipping is really delayed, though. You wouldn't get any yeah, of this stuff until like is. June. Yeah. yeah. You no, gotta it really pay. is. Because that lens that I just ordered today, I looked on Amazon first. Yeah. And they were like, order to ship on May 11th. I'm like, no, I need nah. that now. Well, <laughs> Not like doing it. Exactly. I ordered a pair of shoes and them on Saturday. You know, they were there. It just Tuesday. depends, I guess, what it is. I ordered yeah. off eBay because you know eBay. They'll ship it They're to you. It. They need. They want that money. Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, the first thing we could talk about. I know there's one topic that we've all in our group chat spoke about. Mm-hmm. Pete, how we all utilized our money in a different way for this. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was. I know Brandon talked about it. I know you've talked to me about it, but we've. Bought, bought some beats and I think everybody could talk a little bit important. about yeah I think everybody could talk a little bit about their individual situation and how that investment might go a long way um Brandon I know you bought a lot so I mean you got cashed shit. out yeah <laughs> but so I'm fortunate enough to be in a situation where I am still working mm-hmm. uh work slowed up a little bit so I'm not getting all the hours but uh I'm thankful so the 1200 bucks is just gonna go on my savings when I get it. I haven't yeah. even gotten it yet. I feel it. I haven't even gotten paid out from the stimulus. But anyways. I expected um, like the beats, the, you bought the beats with your credit card and you're waiting for the stimulus to pay your credit card off with that. Or... That is exactly what I'm doing. Oh. There you go. Figures. There you well, go. actually, I pulled money out. But anyways, that's neither here you nor know, there. Just here, I got it, my money managed in my yeah. head properly. That's just going to replace what you what you bought the beats exactly. with. Exactly. But. The way I look at it is, you know, there's there's artists and producers out there that are not getting the incomes that they Normal. have been, yeah, normally getting. So reaching out and seeing if you could work a deal with them, like, yo, you know, maybe you could drop your price a couple bucks and you know meet me in the middle here and we could work out a deal. And you know, I came up on exclusives for a, a whole new project. I got five beats for. X amount of dollars. I'm not going to disclose that. But it was a good deal. But it was a steal, and and he didn't even want uh, royalties or publishing. And I was like, "Yo, I'll go fifty with you." And on that, uh, he's like, "Man, I'm just gonna, you know, I'll give up that to help you out in these times." I was like, "Man, that's that's love. That's respect." Uh, homie from Nigeria, the only Nadge, you know. Shout out him. Shout out him. Um, 
but yeah, so that's what I did is, you know, reached out to a couple of producers, my go to's and was like, yo, can we work something out? And definitely. So that's what I spent my stimulus check on aside from, you know, food and essentials and saving. Yeah, I just, I just want to say, with that being said, uh, everybody out there listening, tap into our previous episodes where we talk about upcoming artists. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to go about purchasing beats and getting onto streaming platforms and stuff. So that's kind of like what Bull is talking about right now. He paid the producer to get the rights to the beat. And if you don't do that, there's no way you can make it on the streaming platforms. 100%. Yeah, and, and what I paid for was the exclusive right so which means I've he's sole owner of all of yeah, those beats. exactly so like choices i own those beats 100 percent. no split you can't go out and buy that you know so there's different levels to it you could lease it for 20 30 40 bucks or you're you better go buying all the exclusive out, cash out a couple hundred <clears throat> a couple stacks whatever the producer wants buy them so you can make money off those for the rest of your life. For sure. I was, getting, I was literally getting ready to say, like, you're going to make money off that the rest of your and life. that's the way I look at it. Like, if I want to drop a couple hundred now mm-hmm. to be able to profit off that for the rest of my life, like... Why the fuck not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. And now it's on me to make the songs and do the promotion and, you know, get it out there. Exactly. It's like It was like a win-win for me. And, and getting it for... I, I did the percentage, and I think I got it for, like, 22% of the actual like cost. off yeah like yeah, a no sale. no i got it like oh so like wait 80, 80 percent off percent so like dang yeah and off. i paid 22 percent of what i would have originally paid for it as there you go like, man that's a fucking blessing did you get any beats low i feel like uh, i heard you talking about buying some earlier today. yeah unlike brandon i i went ahead and leased a bunch of beats i didn't get exclusive rights because i don't think the songs that i'm making now are going to go as far as the songs that I'll make in the future, but I did definitely lease a couple of beats, about two hundred dollars worth to of think it. About too, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go ahead and go all in, and then the songs never go anywhere. It's good for promo. Um, a lot, half of the money already went to bills. I think that's important. Pay um, your bills. Pay your bills, man. If you got that extra money and and you needed the money, just go ahead and knock stuff out. Like I paid a little Get bit ahead. of my debt off. No, I can establish credit again. This is really personal. There <laughs> I'm getting go, super but it's personal. Cost, man, that's but this is you're real doing, shit. You're doing smart. Yeah. And shit, man, that's that's the way I did it. I wish I would have kept it all and I was able to invest it into something that would make me more money. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I didn't have that opportunity. So I feel it. money but comes you're setting and goes. yourself up to be able to do that in Precisely. the near future, mm-hmm. which is smart. Take you don't notes. you don't want to invest right now anyway. There's yeah, the stock be, market's terrible. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, well, there's going to be a time. You want to invest yeah, there's yeah. going to be a time for sure, but now is not the time. And I could I could go in about that. But what did, what did you invest in with your <laughs> stimulus check? Let's talk about it. Paid off my car, baby. There we go. Hey. See, an investment. <laughs> kind, of. kind of. How's that feel? It's it's a depreciating like item, but yeah. Yeah, but at least you got that bill. At least off. I own it now. Yeah. And that's not money coming out of your pocket every month. Right, right. I wanted to say um, it was a meme that I wanted to make. As soon as the stimulus check started getting talked about was for upcoming artists, if you didn't have anything to do with that stimulus check, that would be a huge lump sum of money to kickstart a career. You know what I'm saying? $1,200, they pay $500 for a video, other uh, seven on props, et cetera. Like you could, you could do everything easily. Like, and honestly... If you have that extra money just laying around, there's no excuse. I don't want to hear anything about um, rappers who were trying to be upcoming and then they got that stimulus check, didn't have anything to do with it, blew it completely, but are still sitting in that SoundCloud realm. You know what I'm saying? There should be no realm, uh, no reason. And I'm not being derogatory or negative, but that's how it should have went. Yo, 2020 blessed them with a second tax season. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Back to back too. Yeah, Hex real top close. Are going crazy and you know what? Uh, hey, you know, you know what Canada's getting right now? Two stacks a month. A month until it's over. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. Wild. Crazy, right? Let's that not go wild. in on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's, but it's just saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, that's wild. I know. Um, so my parents told me today. Actually, they went to Martin's the other day to get groceries, and someone they knew that worked there was like talking to them about 
people coming in and just buying crab legs and like like balling balling <laughs> like yeah bro the first day buying all the steaks up they're probably yeah. tired of eating sandwiches at home Trev. but still mm-hmm. are you gonna spend your twelve hundred dollar steamy shekel on fucking <laughs> crab, crab legs bro <laughs> you don't like yo food. you don't know people I would. I'm people not spend all twelve on it but I'm gonna buy some crab legs people never lived poor and it really shows <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm yeah, Cause yeah. when the shit hit the fan, I was like, "All right, we're gonna get some oatmeal and some rice, <laughs> and, and we'll be good. Bro, and we're gonna be same. good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I know I, what to get. I, I like feel canned it. soup. Yeah. But I eat that for lunch anyway. So. I feel it. Bozo. I feel it. He said <laughs> bozo. Kidding. Like, look, I got lunch I've meat. Saved out the ass. a lot of money during yeah. this quarantine. Same. I've, same. I've limited my shopping trips. You know, we go to beer runs. Yeah, I. I'm gonna be honest with you. I probably only made like one or two beer runs. Since this whole thing started like a month or two ago, I probably say right. now I've gone to the liquor store a couple more times than usual, but yeah, liquor could last a lot longer. I definitely yeah. saved money from like going down to ha- downtown. Oh, yeah, 100% me too. Like not being downtown, yeah, anyway, yeah. So. even like our events. I mean, at our events, I spend like at least $100 every event we, on alcohol, we have food, and food, etc. Yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, so. man, you know, <sighs> so you're saving money. Not only are you saving money being in your house, but you're getting this extra money, so. I hate to bring it up, but I feel like we got to. What? I just want to say, I want to go on record and say that we had one of the biggest shows planned for this year that Thanks. got canceled during this whole COVID. And, oh, it breaks my heart because it was all lined up and then all this happened. And I just can't wait to be able to hit the scene and, and actually do this show. I don't want to give too much away, and but... Man, y'all know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, we do. Oh. We were headed up. And then, yeah. Sh- and then following up after that, I want to shout out Haley Arnold for being our event Definitely. coordinator. I know the quarantine stuff is hitting her really hard right now. Yeah. She has nothing to do. Um, and we're grateful for her service. No, she, definitely. She came, she came out to uh, to Brett's house the other night and stood six feet away from us. Dead ass. It's <laughs> not <laughs> a joke. She yeah. would not come yeah. near us. I respect yeah. that. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Shout you, out to she her. did that for you. <laughs> I know. She was trying to protect her. you. She was trying to protect you. I yeah. Know. You no. Shout out to shout out to Haley for real. Shout out to Haley for real. Y'all got any more points you want to yeah. get on for the stimulus? Yeah. Um, if you haven't got your stimulus and you are getting it and you're still working a job and you have money, spend that money on local businesses because local businesses are hurting so bad right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't go to Walmart and fucking blow that shit. Don't go to Amazon and blow that shit. Jeff Bezos got enough money. Go to your local Facts. fucking businesses and spend that money mm-hmm. yeah, because no, they sure. need it. That's so true. No, yeah, that's definitely, definitely 100% true. Um, they're struggling more than anyone right now. Yeah, they SBA rely. ran out of money. Yeah. So that yeah. Hits yeah, we were just talking so about that. They're not, they're not getting that SBA money right now. Yeah. And, and But you know who didn't run out of money? Big box stores. Yeah, big mm-hmm. businesses. They're propping that yeah. up. In the, so, so hit your local stores. 100%. Support local. Hit, hit those local stores up. Um, there's only one other point that I had, and I was saying, like, this is all – all of this advice is pending on the fact that you're in a good, stable financial situation. Right. And your regular, everyday life is paid for. And you have this $1,200, and it's a piece of money that you can use to push yourself forward. And one of the things that I said was, like, look into things that you can obtain, assets – and like assets could be beats for producers um, or for rappers. It could be lighting for a videographer. Mm-hmm. It could be lenses. But the thing is, like right now, everybody is hurting so hard for business mm-hmm. that either if it's not now, two months from now, a lot of things that were really highly priced, I think that stuff is going to come down Definitely. a lot. Um, whether it's like LUTs, um, you know, all of these 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 asset packages that you could use as a videographer or anything like that people are going to be looking to get that money in however they can so i've already i've already seen it preset packs yeah, everywhere everywhere and Half that stuff 75 percent off and for for someone that's just getting into editing like those things can go a long way and getting them for a small piece of money i know like um jacob owens from the buff nerds has this video um class like the, it's pretty much like a master class that he's made of everything that he learned in film school mm. and it's priced really well it's like 250 bucks for the entire course and it's like he's a top tier videographer teaching you um so those are the types of things that i would suggest like looking into and seeing like okay i have this 1200 dollars. how can i make it work for me in the best possible way mm-hmm. 
not just like buying items, you know? Um, that was my one piece that I wanted to make sure I you know, touched on. Y'all can also take $25 and hop on my board and get you 200 out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's a, You're he's doing a, that? No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> uh, People are doing that, though. <laughs> no, I feel it. Wait, feel what? It. <laughs> you haven't heard the Ponzi what? scheme yet? You ain't seen the schemes, the little circle schemes. You throw 25 in, they'll put your name on the board, and you try and work your way to the middle, and then you get paid out, and this and that. Is this like a pyramid scheme? Hello. It is yeah. exactly you like that. You confuse Travis. Yeah. You pay somebody, and then you try and recruit like three other people to all right. pay I, money. I, all right, yes. don't be stupid. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do be that. smart. Be smart. Put that money in your be savings smart. and think about it, like yeah. Josh said. Plot. Pull it out when you when you have a, a solid foundation on what you want to do. If you can't it. buy it three times, don't buy it at all. Exactly. That's a that's a good rule. That's a good rule of thumb. Make sure you have the money. So the next thing we want to talk about, and I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get into this topic. Is highlighting artists that have been capitalizing off of social media during this quarantine. I am super hyped to get into are. this. It's a great time for engaging with fans. Because who has been killing it right now? Logan. Your boy, huh? Logan, who's been killing it? You, you already know. MGK, Tory Lanez, I haven't even been seeing it, but I also, I don't follow him on, or subscribe to him on YouTube, so. Yeah. I, MGK is dropping neither, something but like it's every other up. day, bro. Yeah. Dude, no, I don't even, I'm not subscribed to MGK, and it's still popping up. Yeah, He's number here. one on trending. All right, let me huh. get this out first, because I do think this is awesome for him. So, like, Machine Gun Kelly, he's been doing this series um, where he, in the beginning, he calls them lockdown sessions. He was just doing these little guitar riffs. Then he turned them into full-blown, like, music videos, mm -hmm. like, DIY videos in his house. And he was literally creating the whole beat with his team and then making a song, cutting a video, putting it out every two or three days. He was consistent with that to the point that he got, um, now he's, like, on the number one, um, number one on the trending page for YouTube. And he sampled this Sean Mendez, um, he took the Sean Mendez sample from Mercy and he made this song called Pretty Toxic Revolver, which is probably my favorite song that he put That's out. A cool title. Yeah. It's probably my favorite song he dropped from this quarantine um stuff that he's been putting out. And then he tweeted if Sean Mendez clears this uh sample, I'll put that up on, on streaming. So I think that's cool. And he went like live on his Instagram and he said like his label sent him a message that said like this is the most exposure we've ever seen from Machine Gun Kelly since we've had him signed mm -hmm. it was this time right now and he's about to drop an album in a month or two so everything's looking good for him I just want to say shout out to shout out to Machine Gun Kelly and his team because he's been killing it who's and, he signed to um uh, bad he boy oh yeah, bad yeah. Boy, so he's doing great, um, and I like the stuff he's been putting out, and he's making it all from scratch. It's not like he's just downloading an instrumental, like he's playing, like him and his band are playing all the instruments and making the song. So, Aside yeah. from uh, that Sean Mendez sample that he was working on, talk about his collabs with uh, Travis Barker, yeah. et cetera, doing those covers of those other classic Paramore with Travis songs. Barker, yeah. right? What is that, Misery's Business? Misery's yeah. Business, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. So they redid that Paramore cover, and it was really dope because uh, they had people, obviously Travis Barker's at his house, and he mm -hmm. does the drum solo, and then I'm assuming like he just bounces it, sends it over to them. But when they make the video, they all have their own clips that they're taking at their own houses of and themselves. sending to him. And the cool thing is he edits all the videos. I didn't know that. I yeah. didn't know that either. So the Cole, when you say edited by Cole, it's Colson. That's his name. So mm -hmm. um, he's like mm -hmm. editing all those videos and putting them out. Um, so he did Misery's Business, and that was a cover. He did another um, cover with Youngblood. Um, I can't think off the top of my head of who it was with mm -hmm. yet right now, but he's mm -hmm. been putting out a lot of dope stuff on YouTube. So Check him out. Check him out. Waiting for the, uh, the Halsey collab. Where's that that would be out? lit. Oh. Hey, MGK, you see this? That would be a lit one. That would definitely be lit. I know Brandon, he wouldn't answer our FaceTime because he was too busy watching an Instagram right, live. So oh, yeah, that, I, that was me, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let, me, let me just start by saying I put it in the group chat that RZA and DJ Premier were beat battling. And I told you all the time and everything, and y'all still want to <laughs> FaceTime me. So if you guys don't know, Swiss Beats and Timbaland uh, started this whole uh, IG live Beat battles where producers come with their biggest hits and they'll just, you know, spin them back to back, you know, one for one. Um, they've had some pretty big battles recently. So it started with Swiss and Timbaland, uh, the Dream and Hit Boy. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Ooh. The Dream and Sean Garrett, Hit Boy versus Boy Wanda. Um, 
Scott Storch battled Manny Fresh. I heard about that one. And the biggest one was RZA against DJ Premier, and that's the one y'all were calling me on. And it was just crazy. <laughs> We've seen both like, of them live, so what's it? <laughs> and you know, and we really the did, though. <laughs> We've seen both of them live at A3C at the same in show. Atlanta at the same yeah. show. Different nights. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, Talib was Sunday. And that was with DJ Premier. But no, anyways, DJ Premier was with uh, with uh, Royce. Royce. Was with Royce. 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 Yeah, yeah. Royce. Prime. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, it was crazy. Um, granted, they're playing all the songs you've heard, but just being able to to see them live and spinning, like I feel like it has this whole experience to oh, it. Yeah. Like, and and what I told you guys is is I think they they built something here, like. Like I feel like this something could, that can go past the quarantine. Yeah, I feel like this could be like a service or something like like kind of like Patreon. Like people pay monthly to get these exclusive battles, see them live or whatever. You Definitely. know what I mean? One hundred percent. Content that you're not going to get somewhere else. Agreed. Uh, with these big time artists or producers. So right off rip, I think that's like. You know, it's it's something really good for hip hop in this in these times, and it's something very innovative for the music industry as a whole. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I scored it ten to ten, 10 after to twenty 10. rounds. <laughs> he scored but it, but they ended yeah. up going like twenty six, and RZA like Gave I don't know why, but if it was twenty rounds, like it was a tie for me. But RZA literally held like all the good stuff for after twenty, like yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Triumph. Why would you hold that past twenty? Like, <laughs> if you're only gonna do twenty rounds and you don't play Triumph, like put that in there. Like once you like that's an automatic. All right, that's a dub. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I feel How long was it? Gravel Pit. That's a dub. They yeah, battled. No, they I was, started. I was at gonna nine. ask you if they did gravel. If he did Gravel Pit. Yeah, he did Gravel Pit. They started at nine, and I don't think it ended till close to twelve. Because mm. we were FaceTiming Brandon in the middle of the battle, and he was ignoring our face <laughs> FaceTimes yeah, like, because yo, he was I'm trying to watch this. it. But, and then another thing that <laughs> you're gonna be able to find it on YouTube later. Yeah, no, <laughs> you did. But it's just being able to see it live. It's like yeah, sports. no, it is. It's, it's different. It's like sports. It's like, different. I can't. I, I can't really watch a game. I watch the highlights just to catch up on it. But I'm not gonna watch a game if it's After. not live. Like, I can't I feel just, unless it's the Ravens that, or like your team. No, so that's, and that's true because they're like, yeah, ESPN's playing old games. I want to watch these old games. Exactly. I know who won. <laughs> yeah, I feel, it. Live, I feel it. Live, it's a whole different thing. All right, A three C. If we was sitting in here, like, all right, we're gonna watch the A three C performance. You're not gonna be as inclined to watch it as you were standing there li- watching it live. This I, is like here. Here's my analogy. It's like, okay, so Sway in the morning does live freestyles. You know what I'm saying? He does freestyles that are like in the moment. Aren't real freestyles. Okay. Just to clarify. Anyways, okay, but, but anyways, yeah. they're uploaded, and still, when I see them for the first time, the feeling is still as it, like yeah. it's Fire. equally as exciting. You know what I'm like? He's yeah. doing yeah. that on Sway in the morning. Like, no, I got I you. Feel. No, I feel you on that. But it's Brandon but I think just it's, wanted to be there. All right, Brandon all right. had to be there. He's, so, a, he's a yeah. I did have so like when we started talking about this before, I was like, I have something to say about that okay. conversation. What you, go. Go. what you got? What you got? But who's capitalizing on this time? Okay, Doja. Oh yeah! Oh, Doja Cat's hilarious. <laughs> What's she doing? Bro, killing it. <laughs> what she's killing uh-huh. it? She is killing it on lives. But she going a back to going back to the whole thing of like seeing it on live Instagram, like being a part of that. Like I was watching her live when she was making T and Tamara. Yeah. She was making the beat T and Tamara like on live, mm-hmm. and then two months later it comes out as a fucking whole video. I'm like, holy shit! I remember when she was making that live. Yeah. And that was sure. pretty cool. For it's sure. just a feeling, you know, like, holy shit, I was there for that. I feel it. it almost, I can understand that. It almost thing. feels like you it's were there for it. Being able to say you were there for it kind of thing, or I seen it happen when it happened. Right. Yeah. Shit. right no, right. I definitely understand like, that. With that, I get it. I get it. Like, hearing a new verse for the first time, it's like hearing a, a song from your favorite artist for I feel the like, first time. I feel like Joe but Budden it, right now, because I'm just about to shut you down. He's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, but like, but like the Doja Cat thing where she was reading Roddy Rich's shit. That was hilarious. Bro, yeah. But I found it on YouTube. No, no, no. But if you were watching it live, how yeah, different yeah, yeah. would you feel different? If you were watching it when it happened. When it's live, though. Like, You're like, not I a sports don't know. guy, though. He's like, I I'm don't not a sports know. guy. I've never That's been a sports like the, guy. That's the, what probably the why I can't relate. The perfect analogy for this is, is the different feeling of watching it live. Like, 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 say, if someone, so switch places, right? Remember how I asked you if you saw it today? 
the, yeah. the whole uh, reading Roddy Rich's things. And I said, no. If you would have asked me, I would have said, yeah, watch that shit fucking live. That was dope. Like, I don't know. It's just a different feeling that I, I get would it. get. To, his, to each his own. To I completely own. feel it. I completely feel Undoubtedly. it. Undoubtedly. The only other person I don't want to skip over, because I know you mentioned him earlier, but we got to highlight the we man. We got to highlight him, too. Tori. He's been wilding. Tori's been killing it. Bananas. On live. It's a club. It's which a club is, and which it's is, Which is really crazy that he's creating that. And I know that he's been... I mean, he's been dropping shit um, every day on YouTube, and I don't know if he was just holding on to all his content, but I'm guaranteeing you that that is definitely bringing attention to all these videos that he's dropping on mm-hmm. YouTube. The fact that his live is so popping. And, and not every day is the same. Like, he's definitely got something up his sleeve every day. Something is different. What's the videos he's dropping on YouTube? Like, what are they? They're music, music videos. videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Every day? Yeah. He's had mm-hmm. a lot of them put out. Damn. Yeah. So I guarantee, I mean, it seems like he just was, like, holding on to this stuff for whatever reason. Or he was just deleting and reposting. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe well, he was. What's the point Maybe. of that? <laughs> but he's been killing it, and he's super entertaining. I didn't realize how just entertaining he is as a host, because mm-hmm. he's, like, on a mic, like, just running people. Did you hear that? Do you hear, like, the DJ spins in the back of the yeah. one video? Where <laughs> yeah. he's like, today on Tory Lane's IG. Yeah. Did you watch it live, or did you battle. watch it on YouTube? I watched it live for two seconds, and then I jumped out of the live because nobody fucking sits down and watches a live video. <laughs> for three What's hours. wrong with you guys? <laughs> it's <like> three hours. <laughs> I'm feeling, man. No. <laughs> I'm feeling, like, I'm sitting there commenting, like, next to all these I literally, commenting. you comment and shit, you're like, here, please find me. Please see my comment. It's like, like I'm telling you, it's like the feeling of it and, and seeing all these big, look, the whole time that they were live, there was 180 some thousand people watching, which that's my point on it. It's built up into something that's very profitable, substantial. But for also sure. seeing the big artists like the, yeah, the conversate names, with them. watching the same thing you are at the same time, commenting, conversating. You know, you're yeah. talking about other other celebrities, and celebrities, other yeah, yeah. And stuff. That's yeah. Cool. that is pretty cool. That is yeah, cool. that's pretty cool. You're watching it at the same time with you know. I, I see Snoop Dogg popped up with the fire emojis, or I see. West Side Gun say something like, hey. oh, this is my That is like, cool. That's, I'll give you that. It's a feeling you got and an experience. I'll give you that. It's like you're in the same room, but you're not. But you're not. I can understand. You are in the same room. It. It's just a you're chat room. A mm-hmm. quarantined. A you're, quarantine in AOL, room. you're in an yeah. AOL chat room with yeah. celebrities. Back to Tori. He's yeah. been doing things like he's been holding contests. Uh, he's letting people jump on his lives with him. Like twerk um, contests. Twerk contests. He was doing twerk contests. He was doing contest. he's doing twerk giving contest. out massive amount of money uh, yeah. for certain things. I think one of them was like best rap verse or something yeah. like that. Or yep. I don't know. He's just giving incentive for people a, to do other things while they're at home. Yeah, for sure. On that too, like the contesting, there's a lot of contests I see on Instagram right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like just random stuff too. Like I've entered a ton of stuff for like shoes and camera gear and people are just trying to promote right now. Yeah, trying to get oh, attention so, to their business. Yeah. Taking advantage of people at home on their phones. Yeah. Yep. Why not? It's genius. Yeah. Y'all keep talking about Tory Lanez and he's been doing the twerks and the, the throwing of money. Have y'all seen Boozy? No, no but you said it. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. been wild and paying for titties and this and that. What? Like, yeah, he's yeah, like, I'll cash at you right now. Some girl will be showing her feet on there. He'll be like, delete. Don't cut his dick off. Don't cut his dick off, man. Don't cut his dick off, man. Like, shorty will have her kid jump, pop up on the thing. He'll be like, oh, hell no. He like, deletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting explicit. It's hilarious. It is very explicit from what Tory Lanez has been doing. Like, but it's funny. You might it's see entertaining. Some on Boozy's and IG Live. Yeah, but With it's entertaining. It. I don't follow either of them. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm going to after this conversation. <laughs> it's okay. It's each his own. It's a like, lot about like this it's, conversation. It's like two different types of clubs. Yeah, take us right? into the next topic. <laughs> I'll <you>? take <laughs> this. I'm gonna bring us away from this because who knows where we could end up. The last one's pretty positive. So here we um, go. It's ways to make the best out of your time at home right now. I got a great in one for quarantine. This. Um, Masturbation. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> well, I'm gonna go to some uh, some better advice for work from home people. <laughs> you know I was gonna say some wild shit. I know you were, but you I'm gonna, gonna I'm happen. gonna try to bring it back. I'm bring gonna try back. to bring it back. <laughs> I got one point. It's uh. What is, all right. No, but <laughs> for me, I'll I'll kind of bring it back a little bring bit. It back. I'm no, sorry. for me, you're good. For me, I'm not gonna lie. I have been like really losing it a little bit because I've had to work from home, and that shit's really hard for me because mm-hmm. my job is very hands on with people, and we're not doing that right now we're just doing all admin work on the computer and that shit is just super draining because it's not what i'm good at it's not what i'm interested in um but 
for me, having a schedule and getting up, showering, working out, taking a shower, and, like, starting my day like I was actually going to the office, when I started doing that, for my mental health, it was a huge, like, game changer. So, like, you weren't doing that at first? At first, I wasn't. And then, like, a couple, like, three, four days into it, it just felt like every day was just bleeding into the next the day. day. Like, it was just mm-hmm. one long day. It's I felt rough. the same. And it yeah. was just, like, driving me crazy. I wasn't leaving my house at all because I'm really trying to stay in if I can. And, like, it was, I was losing my mind. And then I started looking it up and I started being like, all right, I have a little dry erase board. So I had, like, check things off as I do. And it was like, wake up, do this workout, take a shower, do this. And, like, checking things off of that list made me feel so accomplished. Mm-hmm. Like, I wasn't just, like, sitting in my house all day. You know what I yeah, mean? that idol. So that's been helping me from a work-from-home standpoint. Um, one other thing that I that we did that I thought was super cool is, like, my mom, uh, she loves Bonnie Blue. And there's this, like, brunch where you do mimosas and crab cakes and eggs and bacon. And, like, she was like, oh, I would love to go to Bonnie Blue right now, but we can't. So me and my sister went out and bought all the ingredients, and we, like, surprised her, and we made that breakfast like we were at Bonnie Blue. We were just at my house, and we had mimosas and crab cakes, and we were eating good, and that was, like, a whole, like, event because we got to wake my mom up and be like, yo, come out here, and she was like, oh, God. It's like we're at Bonnie Blue. You got the Bonnie Blues. (laughs) Exactly. How'd you do that? Um, So that was, like, super cool, but I had in my notes, too, like, I didn't think about this until after the fact, and Chai brought it up, like, if you also have the opportunity to, like, order out from those places Mm -hmm. and, like, support those businesses that you already know that you like um, doing that and then bringing it home and making a whole, like, you're going out to eat, just setting up your your dining room and making it nice and dressing up and doing stuff like that if you really can't leave the house is... uh, Um, I don't know if you all follow, uh, like, Anthony's Pizza. Mm -mm. So Anthony's is, like, a huge thing around here, right? Mm -hmm. So they were doing, like, make a pizza at your house. And they would send you, like, awesome. the dough, and they'd oh, send you wow. everything in one box so, like, you and your kids could, like, make the pizza by yourself. That's, That's really dope. Cool. Super, cool. super cool. And they were, doing a con- they were doing, like, a contest, like, who made the best-looking pizza or whatever and, like, having people win gift cards. That's dope. But, it, yeah, it was super cool. What was your point? You said you had one. Uh, Like, all right, so about the plug, everybody who's listening to this. <laughs> the plug. Uh-oh. I'm about the plug. Okay. Skillshare.com is fucking awesome yeah and i've utilized it so much like during this whole time of being home and not like having shit to do so you can go uh there's a a youtuber cinecom.net cinecom Mm -hmm. is it cinecom.net or .com i think it's .net is it i think all right well just search cinecom on youtube c-i-n-e-c-o-m cinecom Mm -hmm. you can get two months free from skillshare from him and learn anything you want to learn. Yeah. Like anything? Huge. Any, like, any, yeah. like, elect, like, mm. so I'm learning After Effects from Skillshare. Could so you teach saying me how to, like, like uh, computer programs? Yeah, computer stuff. programs, uh, like, tech stuff. You yeah, can do so, No, but there's more. It's there's anything. It's bro, just they have, online like, teaching service. You want to learn how to play guitar? Mm. It's on there. It's, oh, that's yeah, cool. any, like, it's any skill. Anything. Skillshare is the shit. And Cinecom can get you two months free. Yeah. That's true. That's important. And we're not getting paid to say that. <laughs> not at all. Ladies and gentlemen. Not at all. I got two months free for him. And the reason that I'm utilizing Cinecom is because I forgot to cancel my subscription. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I paid a year for it. So. There you go. There but you, go. you can get two months free. Yeah. No, that's Skillshare, sh- awesome. Utilize your time to learn something new. Yeah. That's a great point. That's a great point. You guys got anything? Shout out small businesses. I was going to go over the five things to ponder during quarantine. Okay. Let me drop that on social media yeah, platforms. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, definitely. <clears throat> let me go into the list of them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna just. I'm not gonna go into detail. I'm just gonna go key points. So the first one is to fix what is broken, and I want to hear what you guys have to think by not reading or reciting what was mm-hmm. already said. Fix what is broken. Yeah, mm-hmm. the first thing to ponder during when, quarantine. When you say that, I think of like uh, fixing <laughs> things up around the house. Like if I'm stuck in the house, like. There's some odds and ends, little tasks that have been, you know, I ain't You've had the time off. to do. Yeah, yeah. I put off. Like I think of things like that, or, or even like relationship wise, or or friends. Like maybe you haven't been able to, uh, uh, you know, fix, you know, whatever. You know, yeah. maybe you got in an argument with somebody and had the time to hash it out. All right, let me just give a call. I like it. Yeah. What about you, Chef? 
I think about self-reflection. I think like that's a good time to self-reflect because you sometimes you're just busy moving so much that you don't have the time to like sit with your thoughts and be like, what is actually Mm -hmm. what's really the problem? Why am I stuck in this feeling or the situation? And like this is a time to like reflect, figure that out, come up with a plan to move forward. That's my thought on that. And what about you, Trap? You guys said it. He's like, he's like <laughs> you covered my points. <laughs> uh, key point number two to ponder things during quarantine is uh, exercise, and I definitely want to hear what Shatora has to say about that. I'll tell you, this is a game changer if you're really working from home and stuck in your house, because I wasn't doing this. I started doing it every single day, and it's great. I just created, like, I'll shout out Corey G Fitness. He's on Instagram, and he's on um, Twitter. He's on YouTube. He has dumbbell workouts or at-home workouts. If you message him directly on Instagram or on Twitter, he'll hit you back with a program. He'll ask you to send what equipment that he has, and he'll send you a program. What? Yeah. That's he's cool. He's going hard right now. But uh, just doing anything where you're breaking a sweat is going to make you feel like you accomplished something. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. It's only one exercise that I'm doing during this quarantine. Click, click, click. <laughs> cracking a oh, beer. Cracking the oh. brews. He's cracking the brews. You know, no, I, uh, I have a membership at Planet Fitness, and I think it's cool that R. I. P. they send, <laughs> they R. I. P. send uh, um, like at-home workouts to your email. And oh, I send I'm them. not getting charged for this month, but like, no. that's what I was wondering. Are they charging you? They're not charging you for no, this month. No. Yeah, my gym well, not charging first, me either. The initial first month it happened and they had to close. They charged everybody because they closed like halfway through, but they ended up refunding it. But um, no, I think it's cool that you know they're going the extra mile and sending emails with you know at home workouts that you could do. Definitely, you don't have to pay for like so. Definitely, I think you know doing those little things, you know push ups, sit ups. Squats, uh, which are lunges. Yeah. I think <laughs> loves lunges. I yeah. do. I think gyms are worried. Oh, it's oh, going to yeah, be tough. So because, also. like, people a are going to... A lot of germs. Uh, no, what? Germs. Oh, they're worried about financially. No, not, not, no, no, financially, because I feel like... Oh, well, that's who. They're, cool. they're, they're thinking that people are going to realize, I don't need to go to the gym to work out. Oh, I've been right. doing this at home for they, a month, wait till two months. months. And I still I'll see say the same this. results. Yeah, I'll say this. Yeah. Some people, some, some people, people that are intrinsically motivated might feel like that. That's a good word. But people that don't have that intrinsic motivation need to be mm-hmm. at the gym around people to you know, actually want to do it. You know who lucked out this year? Who? The people with the workout resolutions, the New Year's resolutions. Oh, because they're not they going to have to do easy. it. They got off easy. They did. They did. Bro, they listen. got off easy. My grandma like paid for that wall. subscription, <laughs> I'm they going. they made yeah. that New Year's resolution like man I'm going to the gym every day this year <laughs> and then February hit nope. nothing can't nope. go we, we actually don't have to do that what you got what else you got on there um, I'm gonna go ahead and go into key point three breaking the habit uh, like. any of you guys can start. Yeah, I stopped smoking cigarettes yesterday. Oh, no, God. you Travis didn't. doesn't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> that's that's funny. Though. Breaking yeah. the habit. That's a that's a good one. Um, I. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of any habits I've broken in here other than like not going out to stores as much. Like I've like only been making essential runs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm not out and about, you know, all the time as it is, but I feel like I'm hardly out and about if at all, yeah. other than going to work or the studio. Yeah. I feel like that's one thing I'll say is like I don't know if it was a bad habit, but this situation made me really re um reevaluate my finances mm-hmm. and like Same. really when i make a purchase i'm thinking about it like do i need this like how essential is it and to what good. i gotta do so mm-hmm. that's a habit that i feel like it's not maybe that i'm breaking it but i'm building a, a better habit you know there is one habit that i broke and that's going to 7-eleven every morning 7-eleven for your coffee usually hit 7-eleven no it's not free but it's a dollar if you got the 7-eleven rewards out <laughs> definitely but, get that i recommend it but i <laughs> took that out because yeah you think about how many travelers visit gas stations and this and that and through a pandemic are I'm you like, still drinking okay. coffee yeah but i gotta get up a little earlier to make, make that your coffee. own coffee yeah. you don't have a keurig and no, I got. I don't like Keurigs. <laughs> what? It's not that I don't like them. I just like a regular time coffee out. maker. Why don't you like Keurigs? Tea time. Tea I don't, time. I, I don't know. It's not that I like. I said because you're an old head. I don't like. And them. you boycott anything new. It's not <laughs> like like direct deposit. You're not wrong. <laughs> he boycotts direct deposit. The truth comes out. <laughs> you're not wrong. I feel but it. No, I just I like 
old coffee makers. Yeah, I don't I like, like the them little too. K cups. I don't like the like, K cups. I like I like the uh, the paper filters. I mm-hmm. feel you. Yeah. Little white paper filters. I get you. I, I scoop that joint. I got scoop a, I got a certain got a system uh, system of scoops. How many scoops? And a certain amount of water. I How put much in water? Every morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. See the things. It's like a, a one, two, three on the I side. F- I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they are the, to I feel it. He's I going crazy. I calculations. You you grind your own beans too. Nah, He's nah. Not that guy. That's a, that's a, are you a Maxwell or a Folgers I guy? I did take the Dutch Bros. GV Columbian. I like Folgers. Folgers, my jam. Maxwell can suck. I a go dick. with the cheap stuff, but I like the dark coffee. There you go. Dark roast so has less not, caffeine. He's not going to Seven Eleven anymore. That's We're a good. Not, that's a good decision. Yeah, we got yeah, way off subject. Though. Hey, uh, I can just speak for Travis and say that he probably hasn't eaten as many cheeseburgers as yeah. he normally would. Have. It's, it's been so rough. <laughs> <laughs> he slimmed up a little bit. Yeah, he did. He's I, did I feel like I've lost weight. Yeah. For real. Yeah. I swear to God. From I changing your eating. I think Look. it's the bread, not the cheeseburgers. What you got? You think you get fat off the bread or the cheeseburger? Probably a little the carbs. bit of both. A little bit of little both. Bit Definitely both. the okay. carbs. Okay. Uh, what else we got? We're short on time. Number four key point is do not overthink. So you are at home alone with a lot of uh, time oh. on your hands, always inside of your head. And one of the things is do not overthink. How Don't can you guys go about not overthinking? I think they'll all overlap. I can't, really I can't can't speak on this because I still He's overthink. overthinking. I, I do too. I just feel like you got to build things into your day to be active. Develop and then you can habits. be focused on those. Like Trav said, if you're learning something new or you're trying to perfect your craft, then you're focused on that and it's going to take your mind away from being so trapped, you know, mm. analyzing the fact that you're trapped in your house. So um, I think building things in your day. Me uh, overthinking stuff, I like to set an end goal. Okay. So if there's a task at hand, instead of me overthinking it and prolonging it, thinking, all right, I got to keep mixing this song until it sounds good. I got steps, end goal. Once you hit that end goal, you know what I mean? You're there. Yeah, that that's helps. It. That what helps. about you, Trap? A- uh, no, I'm still overthinking everything. He's oh, he's 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 he doesn't have, he's like, no. Nope. Okay. I can't help you on this one. Uh, yeah. Key point number five is self-reflect, like Shator was saying on the first one. I think it's the most important one because they all overlap when it comes to this one. You got so much time on your hands. Anything that you dislike in your life is the time to take a look in the mirror or reflect on it and just fix what is broken. All right, yeah. a second key point. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, I, I think we can all I got agree on that, on that one. I no. still yeah. haven't found the time to self reflect, but I 100% you do. tell you that it is healthy and you should definitely look yourself in the mirror and uh, do that. Fix those aspects in your life that you, you know, haven't had said time to do. For sure. Precisely. I want to say that you can find those five key points on all of our social media platforms at the Iron Skillet Podcast. Um, if you guys would like it personally, please email us and we'll send it to you just to keep you guys, um, what's the word I'm looking for, stimulated yeah. <laughs> during guys, this time. We'll, we'll, send you, time. we'll send you our own stimulus package. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The One, Iron Skillet Stimulus Package. There you go. Coming soon. There you but go. But it doesn't have $1,200. No. No, no. Hell no. One other, you 12 cents. One other thing I wanted to say yeah, before we cents. wrap. <laughs> two, two cents. We'll two give cents. you two cents. We'll give you two. Ooh. One other thing I wanted to say before we wrap up is one thing I am grateful for in this quarantine is that because I've been stuck in my house, I have had time to connect with people so much more deeply that don't live in Winchester. Like, I've been on house party all day every day like i I get off work and then it's an app where you can hop on with your friends and play games and like you can drink and it's a virtual thing and so like yeah so my (laughs) my friends uh (laughs) my (laughs) byob bring your own he tried to slide that joke in there like it wasn't anything (laughs) like it was just casual like it was casual no it's cool but it is dope um i'll say house party's lit we've been using a lot my friends from grad school we're super tight and we all been hopping on there once a week me and my friend my, you, be, my two know, best sh- sh- um, Ashley and yep. Steven been doing it a lot me and Steven Bananas. and Ashley we've been on there like two or three times a week um, just and that's I would not have done that if it wasn't for this right you know it would never came up which we could have been doing this the whole time it's like I wish I would have invested in zoom before all this happened yeah because we wouldn't you I never know know about zoom exactly so many yeah. people are getting we hit about zoom the other day and i was like what the fuck is zoom? probably me Skype with like 20 yeah different oh, yeah. little people screen. oh yo have you guys seen like the the uh the zoom That's things cool, Shout where out people party. are like like doing funny shit like someone was like there's oh, like yeah. 20 They're things entering. 20 zooms and he was like hey can you have a pencil and they passed it through the whole thing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Fire. really cool that's cool how much time we got left Trav? creative content uh, However much you want. 
five minutes. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting pretty close. Uh, I want to lead into the next side dish or podcast that you guys might hear about. Um, we're going to talk about TikTok a little bit and how it's been affecting everyone and how I've been on TikTok a lot lately. I'm not going to lie. You. So I looked at my uh, my phone like um, like stats on screen time, mm-hmm. and TikTok was was up there. Yeah, you're on TikTok a lot. I am. And I it's, haven't been on TikTok at all since the quarantine. It is happened. addicting. Like it's so stupid. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. The I content's agree. like super, super dumb. I'll say I've heard a lot, and I know we'll get into it. I don't want to dive in because I want to yeah, save it for the side. Not dish. for this episode. But there's definitely some conspiracy theories around TikTok, Ooh. which we'll definitely talk to you about. Also, I just got this. This is what house party is. Stephen Miller's in the house. That means oh, let's he's do trying it. to wow, virtually party. Cool. Yeah, in the he house. tells me he's in the house, so he's trying to trying to trying to party. But let's uh, do it. Let's get off this podcast and get in this house. We get in the house. So TikTok, we'll definitely get into some some conspiracy theories with that on a we side hope dish. You guys, uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Support local businesses. That's we cannot important. stress it enough. Definitely. And also, take care of yourself. Check on your family. Check on your friends. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, you know. Beat just, your meat. Just be smart, you know. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. Iron skillet out. Thank you, guys.